Hey everybody, this is Adam, and welcome to my theater room in progress. I'm going to talk about uh, steps in this video. Here's one that is about 80 inches deep. I figured I wanted one at least big enough for a recliner to be able to stretch out and you can still walk past it. So that was my requirement. Now this step here is 8 inches high, which is about the standard. And it's super easy to make as long as you're making it with the right parts, it should turn out perfect. Um, so here's what you need. The first uh, part is if you're building a theater room on concrete, you're not going to want to lay wood on concrete. You need pressure treated wood. Uh, you can see it has these uh, grooves cut into it. And then under pressure, it uh, forces in a chemical treatment that um, helps it not uh, rot because your concrete actually has water and moisture in it. Now how do you um, attach this to the floor? Well the first thing is you're going to need some construction adhesive. This is liquid nails and uh, works really well for all types of wood bonding. So you'd put a bead on the floor and put this down. Now you need a chalk line. I guess I'll show you the chalk line. Let me go grab that. But while I'm on this, um, all these things in tubes, if you don't use the whole thing, they just dry out. Tape doesn't help seal it. What I found is shoving a bolt in it. So whether it's a window and door caulking, silicone sealant, just ram a large bolt in it and it usually keeps it nice and fresh so that's that trick anyway let's go get the um, the other parts you're going to need for this alright here's what you need to nail one of these down to the ground now this is a chalk line it's got a little chamber in there filled with blue chalk and uh, what you do is you pull the string out hard to do one handed pull the string out Hold it down on one end, run to the other side of the room, and then um, you, you might need somebody to hold it if you don't have something for this to hook onto. You pick up the string and let it go. If it's pulled tight, it'll snap across the ground and make a nice line. So that way you know that you're placing this nice and straight and not crooked. Not mandatory, but really helpful to have one of those. Anyway, these are how you fasten it. Um, called a, uh, this is a ram set. This is basically like a gun and uh, you can see the barrel there and that's where you put your ammo if it is. Now it nails, it shoots in a nail. So you can tap your nail in. I like to do it this way. I'll just see if it's going to fall. No. So I, I put it down, just give it a little tap, just to set it in. And they have different amounts of gunpowder in these. So the four is what I use. The, the that's this yellow box. The green one, the three, is a weaker uh, amount of gunpowder. You can see it's like a 22. Here you can see just how much like a bullet it is. It's an actual 22 shell with no bullet in it, just the charge, so it's like shooting a blank. These slip in there in this little hole, you just put one in at a time and then you push down, and then you push it down, hold it down nice and tight and then hit the top with a hammer It'll explode and shoot your nail into the concrete. Really fun. So, glue first, then you nail. Let me show you one that's nailed in. There you go. So, they just hold it down so your um, wood's not going to move on you over time. Okay, once this is nailed down and glued, 
Then you put, you see here, you have a two by six. And glue it again. All wood to wood, put construction adhesive on it. Um, have you noticed that newer houses rarely have squeaky floors? That's because they use these all the time. Old houses always have squeaky stairs and floors because they never used this. So this stuff's perfect. You won't have a squeaky spot in your theater room step is if you use this. So anyway, throw that down, nail it down as well. Okay, so he, this is like the front of the step there without the wood on top and running down the length this way, I have another 2x6 going. So it would be, you know, underneath there, you see the nails there. And I have another one running down 16 inches down all the way to the edge. So you have a frame of pressure treated 2x4 going around, and then you have 2x6s going down with pressure treated under. And then you need some subflooring for the surface. This subfloor, it's sold at stores labeled as subfloor. It's a really thick chipboard and uh, it's a tongue and groove. You can see the groove, but the tongue on this one is set back a bit. And um, so again, liquid nails along the top here. And then you can nail down your subfloor. It's a nice, uh, nice thick piece of wood. And what I did on the edge of here is I took a router and rounded the edge of this step off. So when we put the carpet padding around and the carpet, it's a nice curve instead of a hard edge. Normal steps will have um, a little bit of a curve to it. You don't want a square edge. Anyway, I hope that's helped you and answered some questions. If you have any other questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments section and uh, I'll make a few more videos here. Maybe talk about um, the in-wall cabinet to hold your electronics and things like that that might be helpful if you're doing this project. Anyway, have an awesome day. Thanks for watching. Bye.